The murder of a soldier at Fort Hood, Texas, continues to draw the attention of activists here in the Triangle and across the country. The death of specialist Vanessa Guillen has sparked a demand for answers. CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco is live in downtown Raleigh, where people are marching for justice and change. Mackenzie. Maggie, you can see the crowd behind me. There's about 40 to 50 people gathering in front of the state capitol right now. This is all organized by the NC Latina and the NC National Organization for Women. They are here, as you mentioned, demanding justice for Vanessa Guillen. She is the soldier who investigators say was killed and allegedly assaulted by a fellow soldier at Fort Hood in Texas. So the group here today, they are demanding change within the military and how it handles sexual assault allegations. Now, they want our lawmakers here in North Carolina to step up in Congress and make sure that sexual harassment and assaults can be reported to a third party that can investigate and prosecute. I'm here today specifically because I am a U.S. Army veteran and a military sexual assault survivor who did not receive justice from the military justice system. And unfortunately, I'm the lucky one, um, and it's my job as a survivor to stand up for Vanessa and all those who can't stand up for themselves. Now, you heard from one of the protesters there today. We spoke with several others who are here. They say that they plan on being here until at least 8 o'clock tonight. They told me that this is the second peaceful protest in honor of Vanessa Guillen here in Raleigh today, and they hope that this is just the beginning of what we'll see. We're now live in Raleigh. Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News. Thank you, Mackenzie. And Vanessa Guillen's death has re-triggered trauma for some of North Carolina's women veterans, as you heard. Sandra Robinson is a veteran from Guilford County. She started an organization called Combat Veterans Families United. It's a virtual peer support group for victims of military sexual trauma. So that's what peer support is about, making sure their voice is heard. They're not questioned. They're not um, challenged. Is this true? Is this not? It is true. If you said that it happened, it did happen. Robinson's organization joined the Military Women's Coalition in sending a letter to Congress demanding an independent investigation into Guillen's death. They are also calling for the removal of the entire chain of command.